Um, hi, my name is Aditya. So um, this is section C of the DTNEA. So, um, so in this section, it's when you start producing your uh, ideas, put it, like potential ideas, and it's worth 20 marks, and it should take you quite a while um, to produce this part of the NEA. So um, I think for at least for my I, um, NEA, I made one, two, three, four, uh, five, five design ideas. And um, one important thing to note is that um, I know most of you probably have um, design ideas in mind, whatever, but it's important that you link it um, to whatever that inspired you and be as specific as possible in terms of what material you're going to use and um, especially the information that you used um, um, from your research section and linking it to your specification and brief, so your design specification brief. Um, talking about what you took inspiration from being specific about how um, this, the design is um, um, is accommodating for your client's requirements. So I talked about, and this is a section where you really become slightly more technical. So looking at um, standard components, um, talking about the inspiration, uh, like pl the places you took inspiration from information, um, such as from sur surveys. One important point is that I think on every slide for your design idea, it's important that you make a box and talk about client feedback on the on the um, on the product talk about strengths weaknesses and development points and yeah so you can see i took um, inspiration from um different um places so a furniture system i talked about hinges velcro um put down tables showing uh, like organizing information um showing the product from different perspectives it's really the nea is really about being as specific as possible um in this case i talked about um so um i talked about different types of stitches um research into that manufacturing processes materials um talking about specific um, types of Velcro I found on the internet, client feedback, strength, weaknesses, development, um, and then in this section, I have two um, ideas here. So I took inspiration from cars, um, a bench, a honeycomb, like inspiration can come from anywhere. And like, if you get an idea, like it's not necessary that you find inspiration and then get an idea. If you get an idea, link it back to something that could seem reasonable as inspiration. Talking about specific um, paints that you can use, stuff like that. Um, talk about where you got your information from. Um, any um, research you conducted while um, designing these ideas. Uh, using Access FM is very important um, during your design ideas just to analyze your pro your uh, product um, and then testing it against spec the specification. So in this case, I would say um, take help from your client uh, in terms of um, rating the product against your specification and just present your information um, in something that's aesthetically pleasing. So I use this kind of graph um, um, so it's concise and it's easy for the reader to understand. And um, using uh, drawings and designs from Tinkercad, I think, shows um, wide diversity and um, creating a table, just rating it against the specification. And whatever gets the highest marks, you, pro you, you would choose that. And so to sum it up, this section is where you become technical about your product and be as specific as possible. And so that's the end of the video. In the next video, we'll be talking about the de um, development section of the NEA. Thank you.